As parents go home tonight and hug their children a little tighter, others are going to wonder when they will see their little ones again. CPS has cut off funding to nearly a dozen local agencies that provide visitation services. Today was the last day for 32 site supervisors at Aviva. Not in your side, Stephanie Ruiz has continuing coverage. Empty car seats line this Aviva office. Laid off site supervisors like Paula Winters have been bringing them in all day. Does it feel more real having to get rid of all this stuff? What more real? I didn't want to do it. Winters packs up books and toys, hoping this is not a goodbye for very long. We're all upset because obviously we've lost a job. But that's secondary, really, and I think if you asked anybody else walking in these hallways um, what their real feeling is, it's, it's about the families and the children. Children that relied on Winters to reunite them with their families for a supervised visit. Trips to see their parents built a special bond. And then you go home and you clean up the crayons that are melted in your car and the juice that has spilled and is all sticky. Now Winters is one of 32 workers at Aviva forced to walk out the door and walk away from these kids. It's not just a job. It's, it, it becomes a, a lifestyle almost because you go home and you care about these kids and you wonder what's happening to them. And now we have no way to know. Nursing mothers cut off from visits with their babies. Empty rooms where Aviva used to house 200 to 250 visits per week and kids paying the price. They don't understand. They don't understand. All they understand is last week they saw mom and probably dad too. And from now on, they're not going to see them until he knows when. A setback that only means a longer recovery for both parents and kids. Stephanie Ruiz, Kega 9, on your side. Here at Not On Your Side, we always like to give our viewers a voice, let you talk about it, and we want to hear from you. Do you think CPS is being honest about the full effect of service cutbacks to the public? It is our question of the day, and you can chime in at kega9.com.